You're introing. You're introing. What's going on, guys? I'm just kidding. I'm doing. What's going on, guys? It's Dustin Custom Bosses, Custom Bosses TV on the YouTube. We're back with another video. What are we here for? We are here to do a little build battle. Yeah. Under 5K, I think we established. Exactly. So Biggs and I are gonna randomly draw a truck here uh, from a little pinwheel thing of a yeah, thing of a doodad wheel. that he's got. Yeah, roulette wheel yep. that he's got going on. We're gonna end up with uh, a make and a model. So all the yep. big five or six are on there, and then 1,500, 2,500, 3,500, etc. Uh, and then we're each gonna go back, check out the gallery, find a build that we like, find some products that we want that are in stock, and uh, kind of go from there. So yeah. And at the end, you guys get to tell us who won. Yeah, this should be pretty fun. Uh, well, I searched, say it more excitedly. This ah, should be pretty fun. This about to be bussin'. <laughs> what the f*** does that even mean? <laughs> anyway, before we do that and before we get into the video, we gotta let you guys know that we did partner up with the Nine Line Foundation, as always. So you can see Biggs and I got matching yeah. t-shirts on. Show them the back. Boosh. Super cool t-shirts, we got hoodies, we got long sleeves, and it's all to help make a donation to the Nine Line Foundation, uh, which if you guys aren't familiar, is a super cool charity dedicated to helping uh, yeah. critically wounded veterans. Not only are you helping us make a donation, if you pick up a t-shirt, you're also getting entered to win a free set of Anthem wheels and a free set of Mickey Thompson tires. Mounted balance ship right to your door. All right, Biggs, let's get into this. Can we draw some trucks? All right, so uh, I'm gonna pull up the roulette wheel here. Ready? All right, all right what all button right. do I have to press? Just the middle. Ooh. Okay. Let's go. Okay, so, I got Ford. Okay. So, are we building the same truck, or do you want me to spin and we can go to head? head like no, head I head. think I think you pick your own. Oh. You get your own. I get my own. We put them head to head. All right. Boosh. Let's do it. Okay. Can you do the ready? Boosh with the explosion thing. Can you do that for me? <laughs> he's just giving. It's, it's not. He's giving himself knuckles. Wait. We gotta warm it up first. <laughs> there we go. Ooh. Ooh. I thought you were stuck with Toyota for a second. That would have been a little rough, I'm not gonna lie. It's not true. But. You got Ram. All right, so I got Ram right here. So You're I'm up gonna first. pick my Ram model here. And let's see here. Oh my God, let's go. Oh, this, damn. You're about to get work, dude. I, I already know that I can make something pretty sweet out of this. This is gonna be a good one, so I So I got a 25, 3500. Uh, now we're gonna pick Dustin's Ford model. So we got F-150, F-250, and 350. So, you know. Should it's, be yeah, pretty comparable, it, yeah. yeah. So, uh, you wanna spin it? Yeah, don't I, worry, you can spin it for me, Biggs. It's fine. I halfway started, I'm sorry. All right, here we go. Oh. Ooh, all it's, right, so I drew a half ton. So yeah. I got an F-150, Biggs has got a three quarter, one ton Ram. This should be fun. Dude, yeah, this, let's let's go get into this, cause this could. All right, three, two, one, five, and it starts now. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, they got, they got me. Oh. Yo, laptop me, laptop man. All right, where do I go? All right guys, so I have a Ford F-150. So here's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, I know Biggs is probably gonna wanna go really big uh, because that's the way he is and he's a child. However, um, I know that with a $5,000 budget, he's probably not gonna have a lot of room to do that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is head on over here to the gallery. My initial gut tells me that I should be looking at like a leveled F-150 on like 20 by 12s, but I wanna just kind of take a look around, see what options we have and kind of go from there. So right away I see this 2017 on 22 by 12 fuel Rebels in a 35, 12 and a half Kenda Cleaver RT. Super good tire. We've had a lot of really good luck with that one. Um, so I'm just gonna open this guy up real quick and just take a look, see what we got going on. So this one's on a Rough Country six inch lift kit and actually first initial thoughts, this is a really good setup. Uh, wheel and tire is about 3000 uh, bucks and that's 35s, 12 and a half R20s, 20, or R22s, excuse me, 22 by 12s. And it's a six inch Rough Country lift kit. So it's getting you six inches of lift kit. Uh, it's getting you uh, 22 by 12s, which is one of my favorite wheel sizes. I love 22s, I think they look fantastic and 35s to boot. So I really like this one. Um, I think this 
is gonna give me a good direction on kind of where I wanna go. I'm gonna take a look at a couple other gallery ads here and just kind of see what else we got going on. All right, so for my uh, pick, I got a Ram 2500. I'm gonna go with fourth gen, late fourth gen, because that's personally what I want. So this is gonna be easy. I know a lot of setups that I like with the uh, fourth gens. And I'm gonna keep this pretty simple. I'm gonna go with a leveling kit and just a low and wide setup. Here we are, I filtered for, I think I'm gonna do like a 2014 around that year. And I already know suspension wise that I want it to be on a leveling kit. So I'm gonna select that just to help me a little more and then I'll figure out the actual components that I'm gonna, okay, this already found one that I like a lot. Uh, yeah, I'm not even gonna waste some time. I'm just gonna stick with this one. Ooh, on some anthems. I'm actually surprised of how good it looks. I thought I was going to go for a more showy setup, but maybe a, maybe a low wide off road build. So I think this is what we're going to do. I think we're going to shop for some 22 by 12s and some 35s and a six inch rough country kit. So let's get over here. We'll dive right into uh, wheels first. All right, 12 wides. And we're going to sort by quick delivery here up in the top corner because I want something I can get now. I don't really want to wait for them. So we got some Caesars, we got a little fuel assault action, some TIS 544s in black and milled, super solid wheel choice there. Fuel Mavericks, Vision Spiders. Ooh, Vision Rockers in chrome, baby. I love the Vision Rocker. Fun fact about the Vision Rocker, uh, that wheel actually comes in a minus 51 offset, so it's a couple mils further negative than what your standard 12 wides in minus 44s are. All right, so we got wheels, got them lined up. They're about 1400 bucks. Let's shop for some 35s to go on it. A 12 and a half wide will fit just fine. So we're gonna take a quick look, see what's available. Yeah, see, I, you just can't beat those Venom Powers for 1100 bucks for a set of 35 12 and a half R22s. They're a great tire, they ride pretty smooth. For that kind of price, I, I, I can't not. So we're gonna add those to the cart. Ah, this is gonna make this wheel in my bolt pattern. <laughs> oh no, go back, hurry. All right. You know, it's hard to beat the 544 in Chrome. It's a beautiful looking wheel. It looks really good. It's got that nice flat face so you get a bunch of lip. I think we're gonna go that direction since we can't have the Vision Rockers because they don't fit my truck because I didn't enter the year make model because I'm a dummy. But I still think we're gonna do Venom Power Terra Hunter XTs in that 35, 12 and a half R22. So we're at $3,743. That leaves us 1,250 bucks to buy a lip kit. All right, so I'm gonna search here for some wheels. Like I said, I want something pretty, pretty massive on a leveling kit, so let's see what we got here. All right, so for the wheels I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna choose the Archon Mandela's, the newest Archon that came out because they're super showy and I think that they would look good on a fortune. I think they look good on pretty much anything. I said I wanted to do like a 14 wide, but I think I'm gonna do like a 24 12. Since Archon gives you a little more poke, it's gonna be pretty aggressive still. It's gonna be pretty wide. And I feel like if I pair it up with the right tire, uh, we can still get a decent turn radius. And we're gonna do the black and mill 24 12s with a negative 51 offset. There's a good start. And add some tires. For tires, I think I'm gonna go with like a street style setup. Uh, I had proxies on my F-150. Probably not the best truck to put proxies on, but I did it anyway because haters gonna hate, whatever, who cares. Anyway, so I'm gonna put, pick some Toyo proxy, the ST3s, in a 305-35 R24. Uh, so that's a 33 by 12.3. So we're gonna try to stretch these on. Probably not gonna work, but we're gonna send her anyway because why not? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go in here. We know we need a six inch lift kit because we found that in the gallery. So we're gonna select the four to six filter right here. And I know right now that Rough Country kits are shipping pretty readily available. So here's a six inch lift kit. Uh, it's a standard strut spacer uh, or knuckle lift kit, I mean. So no coilovers, but for 1100 bucks, it's gonna bring us in under, um, under our budget. And so I, as soon as I figure this out, um, standard strut spacer, rear shocks, let's do the V2 uh, monotubes, free lifted t-shirt, crew cab truck, and I'm done. 
$3,743. I got a six inch rough country lift kit, uh, 22 by 12 TIS 544s in Chrome and Venom Power Terra Hunter XTs in a 3512 and have R22. I'm excited to see what Biggs comes up with. However, I think that this wheel tire package is fantastic. It looks really good and it's gonna ship in no time. So I'm curious to get into it and see what happens. Okay, so we're sitting at a total of 3,493. So we're still under budget. And we got ceramic coating, we got lug nuts, and we got TPMS sensors. But we have some room in our budget, so we could we could go for a pretty big suspension. But like I said, I want to keep this low and wide. Probably just going to put a leveling kit because simple is sometimes better. So I'm just going to filter some leveling kits. What do we have? Ooh, we could get a Wicked one. Wicked's nice. Those look nice. I think, though, that I'm just going to stick with a simple Pro Ride leveling kit. No one can really see it, and it's just gonna get rid of that factory rake and level that out a little bit. So we're gonna add that to the cart. All right guys, so I have my setup. I feel like it's pretty badass setup for uh, my application. Got a Pro Ride leveling kit and some Mandela's and Toyo Proxy, so it's gonna be that low street truck look. That's kind of what I was going for. And we were well under budget, so let's go see what Dustin's got. I'm pretty confident I think I got this in the bag. So let's, let's go, see you there. All right, Biggs, so we each had five minutes. We got to uh, to build a couple trucks here. Take me through, because you're the guest here today, take me through what you built. All right, so for my setup, I picked more of a street truck look with the fourth gen. I went with the Mandela's and some Toyo Proxy ST3s, and I threw a leveling kit on there, so. Okay, a little Pro Ride leveling yeah. kit, nothing super crazy. I like that. I think that whole setup is is pretty decent. The Mandela's gonna look good because it's directional. Yeah. That split spoke is gonna look super good. I'm surprised you didn't go much bigger. Like a street tire was not the direction I anticipated you going with this. Yeah, I honestly wasn't sure. I really like the low and wide Cummins in general. Sure. When I was scrolling through tires, I was like, I can go for a Meteor setup, still low and wide, it would still look really aggressive. But then I remembered how much that I liked the proxies just for the short period of time that I had them on my truck. That's and fair. I was like, this would be a good fun setup that would be a showstopper and be quick on the, I mean, those things, they make your truck way faster. Yeah, I mean, totally 10 they're, second truck, yeah, you know? Yeah, they're Toyo proxies. Okay, whatever, Biggs. All right, so uh, I anticipated you going much bigger, so I went uh, a little bit bigger. I hit the gallery, I did some searching around. There's a lot of leveled F-150s yep. or like three inch level lift F-150s, yep. but I found, uh, I'm gonna start with suspension. I found a rough country lift kit for 1300 bucks. Yeah. Like a six inch lift kit, $1,300. I know that they ship relatively readily right now, right? Yeah, Rough yeah. Country has some I, of the lowest lead times. I got mine in a little over a week, I believe. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So like, as soon as I saw that and I realized yeah. where the price point was, I knew that that was gonna leave me with plenty of room in the budget to really do what I wanted right. to. So I did that. I grabbed uh, the six inch kit with the V2 shocks. Obviously probably not as extensive as like the Vertex kit, but they're V2 shocks and they're that middle ground between yep. the bare bones kit and the vertex kit you have that nice kit still rides pretty decent fourteen hundred dollars yeah at know. a great price yep so then once i knew i had room for that i searched around in the gallery a little bit more i went with a 22 by 12 tis 544 in chrome yeah um i love 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 that wheel in chrome it looks really good it's got a nice deep lip on it because it's a flat face it's not concave wheel yep. it looks super good and then i paired that with a set of venom power terra hunter xt's a 50,000 mile tread life warranty on those tires. Nice square sidewall, they're, they have pretty good traction. They they ride good. I mean, everyone that I've talked to loves those tires. And again, yes. I know that in our warehouses, we have a lot of these men and power tires ready to roll. So uh, I wanted something that was super functional, but also something that I wouldn't have to wait forever for. So I went with that whole package and all said and done, I think I was, I was $100 over, I think. $100 over? Yeah. All right, there you have it, guys. There is our five-minute build-off. Thanks, Biggs, for uh, oh, yeah. lining up against us. Even though I know I beat you here today, it's okay. You were $100 over. I'll so. take it. So uh, let us know down in the comments below who won. Uh, we're going to be tallying the votes up, Biggs, and I will be going through the yep. comments, going one and one to see who won, and uh, loser has to buy lunch next week. Ah, it sounds good to me. I'm going to be probably in the shop being a grease monkey trying to get my truck ready for Daytona. So Perfect. And with that, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel so we can keep, keep making banging content just like this one. Peace. See you guys.